Hello, thank you for joining me and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. And uh, this is for tarot for this coming week. You'll probably see that I've got all my pyramids out, my crystal pyramids, absolutely gorgeous ones. Love the colours in some of them. And you can see there, look at that. Oops, dropping everything. Not a good idea, is it? The colours in that. And that one. There. And I've got a beautiful eagle in that one. I don't know if you can, if you can just about see that. That's gorgeous. And at the top. Uh, can you see that there? Flying high like the eagle. Okay, so this is um, a card for the week for week commencing June 27, 2021. And I'm going to use the Butterfly Oracle, which is by Doreen Virtue. And I recently did a review on this oracle, beautiful cards. So what I'd use them for this week. Okay, so card for week commencing 27th June 2021. Hopefully the sound will be a bit better in this one because I noticed the sound had gone a bit funny in last week. Okay, now this is Windfall. Okay, so look at the vibrant colours on that. You've got the, the white and the purple representing the crown chakra there. And you've got um, orange. And that's more of an orange as well, not really a red as such. Although in a butterfly it comes up as red. But red is the root chakra. Orange is the uh, the sacral chakra. And orange is a little bit more uh, calmer, a little bit more vibrant than the red. Red is the roots, the base, the, um, the bottom. And orange brings some of that yellow, the sunshine into it, so it's a bit more vibrant, a bit more energetic. Okay, so there, as I say, you've got the crown chakra that's represented there as well, and the green in the background, the heart chakra as well. So I'm just going to put this on there. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. Okay, let me just bring it forward a bit. Okay, there you go. Windfall. Alright, so all right, what I'm feeling from this one then. So as I say, you've got um, the bottom, the top and the middle chakras. All colours there on that card. So this is a link up of the chakras. You've got some um, information coming in from... Uh, spirits from your guides from from God from your religion and um, whatever it is that you believe in you've got um, various things coming various information coming from that that sphere this week so it's a week to trust our intuition it's a week to look for messages to look for signs that are around us and to hear what um, what spirit, angels, guides, God, uh, Jesus, Allah, whoever it is you believe in, listen to what they're saying this week. Um, windfall often indicates something that is unexpected, something good, beneficial that is unexpected. It's often a word used to refer to finances as well. Um, when people say, oh, I've just had a windfall, it's often that they've just won some money on the lottery or they've had some kind of a unexpected financial benefit or fortune come in their way. So maybe we're going to hear about people just being a little bit better off this week. And um, 
not so many people worried financially because I know a lot of people have especially in what's been happening recently um, so many businesses have had to close and I, I'm going to watch the words I'm using because so many people have been kicked off platforms because of just innocent words so I may be using some slang terms okay so listen out for the signs listen out for people's good news as well um, ask your guides ask your your gods your your prophets um, uh, ask your your angels whoever it is that um, that you believe in ask them to to help you to guide you along the way so if you've got choices and decisions to make now is the time to ask those that you believe in for for help to guide you to make the correct choice and the correct decision and be careful of distractions okay because if you if you look on this card here you've also got um, another butterfly there or is it a fly not sure but you've got another creature just there so is this butterfly going for the nectar in the flare or is it going to get distracted by that little creature there so be careful of distractions keep to your purpose keep to your own path so if you've got projects and plans or deadlines that you need to meet just focus on those as well and um, carry on heading that way rather than allowing little things to distract you okay let's see what else I'm picking up here yeah there's a couple of things actually and a couple of other things I'm picking up here the um, first one is if you've got debts try and get them paid off and uh, there are plenty of uh, organizations that can help you do that as well so don't just sit on them and keep worrying anxiety builds it up and makes it worse so try and do something about that for yourself for the sake of yourself and your family rather get it sorted than uh, than just leave it and also there's a lot of people who find it very difficult to receive you know when we we're talking about uh, give and take and receiving and giving it's very easy to turn around and give something to another person to help them out but when it comes to ourselves a lot of us find it very difficult to actually accept to receive something and um, we feel like maybe we feel like it's charity or something like that when it actually isn't so if you think about um, maybe you see somebody in your family who's um, who's maybe a bit hard off and, and hard up and, and maybe they um, I'm just using this as an example uh, they may say to you oh I need to get petrol and I don't get paid to the end of the month and you'll say oh here's a tenner go and get petrol you know you're not doing that for charity you're doing it just to help your friend your family member out so just remember that they could also do that for you so rather than saying oh no I, I'm not accepting that or no I don't want that I can't accept it just remember they're doing exactly what you do you know I want to help you out it's not charity it's just caring and being there to support someone so when someone is helping you out like that just try and say yes and it, I know it can be difficult I find it difficult as well I'm a very independent person and I think a lot of people are the same as I am and sometimes you have to actually teach yourself to say yes okay I'll accept that okay so that's um, another thing that I think we need to to understand a bit more this week is that receiving is exactly the same as giving and it's because people care and support they're not doing it for charity they're not doing it because they think you're you're a beggar or whatever you know they're not doing it for that 
for doing it exactly the same as the reason that you do it for them. You know, he he's tenor, go and do whatever it is you need to do, don't worry about it. I know you're paying me back, I know, it, or, you know, if it's a family member, you'll probably say, I'll oh, forget it. So just remember that they do the same for you as well, and they're not doing it for any, um, what you may feel are negative reasons. They're not negative reasons because they support and care for you. And so that's something else you can uh, try and learn this week. Okay, so that's the card for this week then. So 27th of June, 2021. That's the Butterfly Oracle from Doreen Virtue. Beautiful card there. Okay, so thank you for joining me. Click subscribe if you want to see some more. And uh, hopefully the sound is okay on this one. Because I know last week it wasn't very good. And... Um, let me know if you use these cards, if you want to see some more of this particular deck. I will put the link in the comments section below. And also um, put like or, or dislike, whichever your preference is, and let me know if you use these cards. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next week for Cards of the Week. Thanks, take care, bye-bye.